Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to what I consider to be a very exciting episode of the Chad and Todd All Things Adobe Podcast. This is Chad Perkins here. I'm going to show you a trick in After Effects in this segment. Now, After Effects can operate in a 3D environment. You can set up a 3D camera and 3D lights and all that kind of stuff. But one of the things I've always asked by those I consult and train is how do you get 3D objects in After Effects? Well, that is a subject of many a message board. People always want to know how to create 3D objects and have them exist in 3D space in After Effects. For one, you can go to a 3D program like 3ds Max, which I am a big fan of. But the problem is once you get it back into After Effects, then you don't have that 3D functionality. You can't rotate it in 3D space. It's essentially a flat image or movie. Now, the common way of doing things, the common trick that I've seen, is that people just duplicate a layer a million times, and then that gives it some uh, the illusion of depth, so to speak. The problem with that is it takes forever, number one, and number two, uh, as you start playing around with light and camera angles, you could probably see right through the illusion, so it's not as flexible as you might need it to be. A third option is to use the new vanishing point feature inside of After Effects, and while that feature is jaw-dropping and amazing, you have to set that up in Photoshop, and that can be kind of painstaking. You don't always get the results that you want. Actually, most of the time you don't get the results that you want. And also, you can't take other objects that are not kind of flat and planar and make them 3D. Well, I'm going to show you a trick in After Effects that will make it very easy to create 3D text and 3D objects. I'm not talking about fake 3D. I'm talking about real 3D. Now, a fourth way that people create 3D in After Effects is through plugins. We're not going to use plugins here either. The way that we're going to do this is with an effect called Shatter. Shatter is created by one of the all-time After Effects heroes, Brian Maffitt, who also created Colorama and Radio Waves and a whole bunch of other stuff in After Effects. The entire After Effects experience is completely benefited from Brian Maffitt and his great genius and creative wisdom. So thank you, Brian, for this. Now, I have just basically two layers here. I have my text. This is just a standard text layer, as you can see from the T, and then just a photo. I try to keep this as simple as possible. You could also use a movie for this, and then your 3D text will actually have a movie playing on it, which would be even more awesome. But I want to just get down to just the base level here. If I could make it look this cool with just a photo and a text layer, think of the possibilities. Now what I'm actually going to do is turn off the text layer. We're going to use that as a controller. We're not going to actually make that 3D. So I'm going to use this image here, and I'm going to apply shatter to the image, not to the text, but to the image. And I'm going to go to view here in my effect controls panel, change it to rendered so I can see the rendering of the effect here. And I'm going to go out in time just a little bit so you can see some shattering going on. So you know that there's essentially no tricks up my digital sleeves here. And I'm going to go over to the uh, shape submenu in shatter. And I'm going to change the pattern from bricks to custom. Now, I want to do this first to show you that it's going to disappear. That's okay. But the next step in order to get back what we lost is to actually define a custom shatter pattern. So if we're not going to use one of the presets like bricks or glass and we select custom, then it's going to go blank because we need to, again, define the pattern to use. And here is the key. Custom shatter map. Take it to my text layer, which is my name, Chad. And there we go. And what I'm going to do here is increase the extrusion depth. And sometimes you get these little hanger on guys here, these little extra particles flying off. Number one, you don't want to have a stroke on your text when you do this. Another thing I could do is take this back in time a little bit. There we go. And now, to show you that this is really 3D, I'm going to go to camera position. Open up camera position, and I'm going to play with Y rotation. And you will see that our text is fully 3D. 3D rendered text inside of After Effects without plugins, without gimmicks or tricks, using Shatter. Watch this. I take up Extrusion. It changes the thickness of the text. I could play with the X rotation, and you could see from these tips and edges that this is a 3D rendered version of my text. And because it's using Shatter, we could play around with the 3D lights and cameras as well. Now, if you're feeling really sassy, you can come back over here to your text layer, which is still live and editable and will change the 3D scene that we're having here. I'm going to go over to character. And I'm going to change my text. Watch this. I change it to webdings. 
And look it, now we have the web ding with like the house and the uh, 3D buildings or whatever. And as we play around here, we change our fonts. Look at this, we're having 3D rendered pieces. This is an amazing trick in After Effects. No extra money required, no crazy use of expressions, nothing complicated. We just take shatter, and again, we change the pattern shape to custom, and then pick a text shatter map. And that's all there is to it to create 3D objects, real 3D objects inside of After Effects. Oh, keep me down.